Our pilgrimage to the Marian Shrines continues right here on Discover Wisconsin. I continue the trip to the Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe in La Crosse. Now what really struck me when I, I got there was, boy, just the, the true beauty of, of the whole area and not just the building itself. The shrine is absolutely gorgeous, but the grounds too. There's over 100 acres that people can walk around and really take time to reflect and pray. This is such a beautiful place. I mean, that's what strikes me when I first come up here. And I mean, that's a big part of what brings people here too, isn't it? Yes, the idea of a pilgrimage to a holy place, the holy place is not only supernaturally attractive, in other words, the pilgrims come to encounter God, but if there's also a natural attractiveness to draw them, the two things work together, and here they work together almost perfectly. We've tried to, to bring elements from the, the great history of, of Christian art and architecture. The altar in the church is modeled on the altar of the Basilica of St. Mary Major in Rome. There's a certain Southwestern style in the architecture too to connect us with the, the origin of the miracle in Mexico and so forth. So we've, we've tried to really that the shrine be a place where people would experience the truth that the faith is universal, it's one throughout the whole world, that they have new hope for, for their lives and that they know deeply God's love for them. The feast day of Our Lady of Guadalupe is celebrated every year on December 12th, and it's meant to honor the apparition of Mary to St. Juan Diego in Mexico in 1531. Every year there are and many who come for the feast day, it's the biggest feast of the year for the church. And there are many special traditions attached to this feast day, especially among the Mexicans. They bring with them this love and devotion towards the Mother of Christ under the title of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And with that devotion and love towards her, you know, the various traditions that have been handed down over generations, the celebration of Las Mañanitas, very special uh, traditional Mexican songs in her honor. And then usually it's followed by the celebration of Holy Mass and then the traditional pan dulce, sweet breads that they serve. This is our tradition from Mexico. So we like to do it here because we live here. And we got a beautiful shrine, we got a beautiful church and very good people around here too. Going back to those traditions um, from your roots are essential and heartwarming. And finding that here, it's a blessing to have this place here in La Crosse. Tens of thousands of people make a pilgrimage to this shrine every single year, and really they come for a variety of reasons. We're here at the shrine with my wife in honor of her brother who has prostate cancer. When he made his trip here, I believe he felt that it helped. And because he's, his numbers are going way down now, and it's very positive for all of us. If this is a slice of heaven, it's like heaven's door um, right here in Wisconsin. Our Lady is always, always answering prayers and performing miracles here. We came all the way from Arizona. It's a nice uh, retreat uh, to get away from the craziness of the world. While filming this episode, I learned that the journey itself, the actual pilgrimage, is so much a part of this for people other than just the destination. So there's Bike to Mary to the Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and to get to our last stop, there's the Walk to Mary. We start at the, the National Shrine of St. Joseph, which is on the campus of St. Norbert College, and we walk all the way out to the Shrine of Our Lady of Good Help. It's about a 22-mile journey. Everyone here, all 1,200 people, probably could tell you a little different story about why this is important to them. For me, I have went on a number of pilgrimages myself. At the time, I was the CEO of a very successful technology company, and I felt a calling from within. Instead of being all about money and success and business, I started to feel like there are more, much more important things in life than that. So I started working with some other people to put this Walk to Mary in place. My wife and daughter had done it for the last two or three years, and I thought, boy, this is really cool what's going on here. So the whole family got involved. My wife has went through cancer, and so a lot of things that go through your mind. You know, I think of the journey that Jesus did for us, and that's what it all comes down to. It's developing your spirit, and, and this is part of the journey. Head to discoverwisconsin.com to download a free itinerary that'll help you plan your trip to Wisconsin's Marian Shrines.